Here in Morangup, we may not have the best agricultural land in Australia, but we've got land that produces very, very good crops. There's all types of crops grown here, canola, barley, wheat. There's a, an area of 62 square kilometres that's proposed for open cut bauxite mining. And we believe that the, any proposed bauxite mine here in Morangup will have a huge effect on the people that live in Morangup. And we also believe that uh, any bauxite mining on um, agricultural land will destroy the farmland and will never recover from mining. Once the truck goes back and forth over the same area, the ground becomes very powdery and dust just starts to rise. And when you get strong winds behind that, the dust just travels through the atmosphere and it'll go for miles and miles and miles. Here in Moringa, we're classed as the little guy. We, we don't have the funds and the money that, that major corporations have. And, and we, at the moment, we've got the second biggest economy in the world, being the People's Republic of China, who own these tenements here. It really is a, a David and Goliath battle here in, in Moranga. Yeah, I, I think there'll be a lot of people who don't want to live alongside a mine site. We've had community meetings where we've had people in the, in the meeting who work on mines and move to Morangup um, because there was no mining here. I mean, it's one thing to, to work on a mine site, and live on a mine site if you're up north somewhere, but when you come back to the, to the metro area or close to it, um, you don't want mining on your back door. My name's Brian Dale and I'm the president of the Avon and Hills Mining Awareness Group, situated in Morangup. <laughs>